anyway so uh we'll go ahead and get started and i'm going to kind of do like a uh just kind of a quick tutorial on stuff and how i and how i uh power game this because uh a lot of people still like have trouble with this game and i think a lot of people like um there's little tricks they don't know and um i think it's a pretty it, it can be pretty easy if you know like all the the best ways to do things so that's what i'm going to show not necessarily how the game uh i guess not necessarily what the game gives you in the moment to do but just the best way to do stuff and we'll kind of make this game a lot easier for people and hopefully get more people to uh to beat it because it's really rewarding and it's really fun and um I'm really only going to do that with this one. The next ones I'm just going to kind of play. And uh, some of the stuff you can transfer to the other ones, and it'll help you uh, get better at the other one. So, all right, everybody ready? Everybody ready to play along? So let's take this um, kind of slow, and let's learn some things. So, And I hope the game volume's good and all that. So, um. I don't hear any game volume. There's no music. Hold on. Reset this thing. It did it to me earlier. I mean, it played the first part, but then, like, the music wasn't playing it in the game. There it goes. Okay. All right. So, uh, the, the, the main thing about this uh, that I think a big mistake a lot of people make when playing Castlevania, especially the, the first one, and, uh, well, the first three, really, the ones on NES, is um, they want to use the whip a lot. The whip's fun to use, and they want to use it all the time, but it's, like, the worst, probably the worst thing you got. So it's, like, you want to kind of, like, ignore, uh, not totally ignore using it, but most situations, you're not going to be using it. You're just going to kind of use it for one-hit enemies like this. And what you're going to want to do is upgrade your sub-weapons. So essentially that's what you're going to want to do, because your sub-weapons are way better. So it's kind of a it's kind of a trick to make you want to use your regular weapon, but uh, so there's your first one, and you can upgrade your sub weapons to a two and a three. They can upgrade twice, and what it allows you to do is to essentially it allows you to have your sub weapon multiples of them on the screen at one time. So, like for example, now I'm I have the holy water bomb on level one. If I throw one and keep trying to throw more, he's just going to whip. I'm not going to be able to get it out. So in order to upgrade that, you have to get the two and the three upgrade. And the way you do that, the way you get that to drop, because it's a, like a random drop, kind of. Not totally random, but the way you do that um, is by using it. Holy water, or just like which I prefer? Well, no, I love the holy water. Probably the holy water is like in the long run like better, but but anyway, the way you want it, the way you get the upgrade is you're going to have to use it. Anything you kill with the sub weapon counts as uh, at you getting closer to the upgrade. I think you have to do like anywhere from like eight to ten kills or anything like that in order to get um, your your first upgrade to drop, and then your second upgrade. But hitting it with hitting candles and, and destroying like candles with the sub weapon also counts. Like the game doesn't know the difference between hitting a candle and hitting an enemy. So if you use your holy water like that, there's two. I just hit. There's three, and then you can really grind them out here because of the zombie. That's if you want to do this. I'm not really gonna keep. There's the two. See, so that now I can throw two holy waters at the same time on screen. Now we're not really going to be using the holy water on on a lot of, for most of the game, but I'm just showing you this as an example of how this works. If I keep grinding like this, there's the three. Now we're fully upgraded. So if you don't if you don't use your sub weapon to do this, then that is never going to show up. There's there's hidden ones around the stages. You'll find hidden ones in the walls, but uh, you don't really want to, unless you just know exactly where they're at, this is the easier way to do it. It's just by killing things and candles with your sub weapon in order to, for it to, uh, to appear. So that's what you want to do. But, uh, the first stage, really, we're not really focused too much on a specific weapon. So, it, it doesn't really matter too much. 
and also the things to keep in mind is periodically enemies or candles may drop a random item so the big thing about castlevania is being is is all about patience and um making sure that you take the time you know unless you know what everything is don't just jump blindly into a candle when you whip it just you know hit it make sure you confirm what it is and then get it because there's no rush uh, I started playing and it's super clear that I haven't uh, played in a long time. What, are you okay? Are you are you are you up to speed? Are we at the same spot or do I need to slow down? I'm trying to need to slow down a little bit, huh? Oh, I just get hit by that bat. There's also a quick way to get up here. Uh, if you take a hit from that other side, you can skip that whole bottom stage if you know exactly where to get hit, and it'll fling you onto this platform I'm on now. It's just a little interesting thing, nothing crazy. Okay, we're at the same spot. All right, let's keep going. Be careful about what you, what comes out of the whip. Remember to just, just don't go blindly grabbing stuff. I only have two HP left. Uh oh. It's okay, but you got this. And you can use your holy water since it sticks around. You can use that for the zombies if you want to. I just. I prefer, in this situation, it's just kind of quicker to use the whip. Over here, there's going to be an axe. I say go ahead and get it. Just leave your holy water behind. I just wanted to use that as an example, but the axe is very helpful for the first boss. And also, there's a two hidden right here under these stairs. And then just start ramming him with the axe since he's up in the air. He's pretty easy. <laughs> you already died. Okay. It's all good. This will be... Uh, I'm, I'm going to put all these on YouTube, hopefully, and all that, so that anybody who wants to go rewatch them can, or um, follow along with them and everything at their own speed, they can. So, But uh, I just figured it'd be funny, like Bob Ross segment or something, everybody play, follow along with me. And just like in Bob Ross, it's hard to keep up. All right, go ahead and get that cross. What we're going to do is the cross, you're going to pretty much... We're going to pretty much carry that cross through the rest of the game for the most part. Unless we die, and then we're just going to have to go get another one. Uh, same deal. You want to upgrade it by killing enemies. Take your time. Or hit candles with it. But uh, we want to make sure we upgrade that cross all the way. This is just how we're going to... We're just going to power game the shit out of this. Both are hard to watch and play. Yeah, exactly. So... But, you know, it's a good thing. We'll, we'll, that, that's what'll be good about the YouTube part. We can kind of slow it down or whatever. But, uh, yeah. So, for anybody watching who doesn't know, we're doing this. This is a marathon annually that I do every year. Where I just kind of go through as many games as I can. Um, leading up to Halloween to get me in the mood for Halloween. Uh, this is the fifth year I've done this, I think. Fifth or sixth. I'm not quite sure, but I go through... Um, I think my record was 26 games. Um, 26 games leading up to... It's not always... It doesn't always start in... Don't get that knife, by the way. The three, that's a one of those traps. That spot right there. Some of these are always in the same spot. That knife is always in the same spot. So you want to just, again, make sure you're watching before you grab. Um, but, uh, yeah, I used to have started in, like, August because work so much I don't have to do it in the uh, on the weekends uh, and I get as many as I can now I'm just kind of like yeah I started in August for, so I can get as many as I can done now I'm just like I don't like I'm not worried about it once I got like 60, 26 of them or whatever I'm like okay I'm just gonna start later because it's just like it's kind of exhausting this part just kind of emulate what I'm doing here the crosses work good on these Medusa heads right here. The problem is the platform, but uh, once you spam them with those uh, crosses, they're pretty easy. And I uh, just don't want to get hit and knocked back. That's the only thing. Uh, if you have a situation where you don't have to use the crosses, where you know you're not going to, uh, where you know you're not going to, you know, you're not going to die or hit, then don't waste it. You know. Oh, what's up, man? John and Mo. The Mo. I should say the mo. There's there's none like him. And uh yeah, so that's what we're gonna we're just gonna keep keep going with this. Did you just tune in, guys? Uh I'm kinda we just started, so uh 
kind of going over some of the basics and everything. We already got the upgrades for the crosses. And uh, hopefully if we don't die, we won't need to get them re-upgraded again. So, and right now you can just take your time and just stock up on ammo if you need to. Part you can duck under. I recommend not trying to do it all at one run, although you can. It's just very difficult. Yeah, those little ghost guys are in uh, Symphony of the Night and everything. Like, that's how that's how old those enemies are. They've been around that long. It's kind of cool. I kind of I, I kind of love that. I know a lot of games will, uh, you know, like Zelda will keep enemies from the beginning, but it's kind of funny how like Castlevania they made them. They look the exact same. They never changed, you know. <laughs> Waiting for Dixie. Oh, you you guys are. Uh, is tonight the night you guys are getting the studio back up, back up and running? Okay. So here's the first reason why. And with the Medusas, a lot of people try to dodge them. Just walk forward. Uh, that usually in most situations with the Medusa heads in this game, just walk forward, don't stop, and you'll dodge them every time. For the most part. Sometimes you might be on a platform that's a little different, but uh. And here's the first reason. First example of why we want to upgrade our sub weapons. There we go. I only took one hit, but makes it a pushover. Medusa's a pushover. Okay, uh, you use those sub weapons by holding up and pressing the attack button, the whip button. That or hanging out in the backyard. Yeah, either one sounds good. I mean, I'm excited if y'all are gonna start recording and stuff again. Like, I'm, I'm really excited. It's been a while. I was thinking about the stuff of the year episode. Like, I was already, I'm already thinking about what my stuff of the year is, and I'm like, see that holy water? We don't want it. We got the cross upgrade. Remember, we're carrying that to the most, pretty much to the end. Don't be fooled. Don't let it trick you and give you something you don't want. Um, but the, yeah, I was, th I was already thinking about my stuff of the year for that episode. And I realized I don't really watch a whole lot of new stuff. Like, that usually happens every time. My stuff of the year, half of it didn't come out this year. Almost every time. But whatever. I'm still sitting here playing Castlevania. Alright. These birds can be a pest. Just you cover that screen with the crosses. Make sure you be patient. Watch what you're getting out of the candles. It'd be good. Another trick, too, is if you're fighting these birds, if you're on the stairs and they hit you, you can't get knocked off. So on parts where there's like platforms and stairs like that, whatever, sometimes it's better to just be on the stairs. You're like you're more vulnerable as far as you can't move, but you also won't get knocked off. So it's kind of like, you know, it, it's kind of worth it if you ask me. So this guy will usually jump off on his own. Don't even mess with him. See, the thing is, is like this game. See, it gives you an axe right there. This game will like. The game is really built up like to not. I don't think it's built to be playing it the way I'm playing it, right? Because they usually give you everything that you need for whatever situation you're coming into. If there's a situation where you need holy water, like right before that you can get holy water, um, an axe for the big bat, like it always gives you what you can use for that. Hey Wink, what's going on, man? Um, but again, we're power gaming this. It's like, fuck that, we're going to make it easy. So, yep, just walk forward on this part. If you get lucky, you can head up and he'll... Yeah, I think we got lucky. Yep, you can, you can dodge all that stuff. You just walk forward and go straight up the stairs. But, uh, yeah, so it'll give you, like, certain situ like certain situations. It'll give you... what It always gives you what you need, sub-weapon-wise. And that's the, that's the thing is I, I think people just... Again, they just want to use the whip too much. And the sub-weapons are, are much more powerful. Like, that's sort of the the trick of the game is knowing when and when not to use it. All right. But yeah, so the, the really at the end of the last, I think it's the last stage. State, no, the stage before last, we're going to switch to Holy Water because that stage re like almost requires it. So if anybody's familiar with Castlevania, you get, once you get to the end, you get these enemies close to the very end that take like... You can hit them like, I think it's like, they're like big knives. You hit them like nine times or something, you kill them. 
you have the holy water, it takes one holy water. And they'll go down. So that's why we want to make sure we get to use the the right weapon, right thing for the right job. So. There is a um, handle coming up here. That one right there. This has a knife. Or no, this next one has a knife. Don't fall for it. Don't pick that up. You will be screwed if you pick that up right here. And before you trigger this fight right here, the mummies, before you trigger this fight, they won't move until you go to the middle of the screen. Get your uh, pork chop right there. And then just start spamming them with these. Sometimes you can take a hit and put yourself further on the other side of the screen. That's fine too, but usually you'll be fine. You take one hit, it's not too big a deal. There we go. Already encountered uh, the Fleeman. Yeah. Yeah, that was at the beginning of the stage. <laughs> so. Sorry. Man, I don't know. I don't think they show up again, but they are frustrating, especially. Those are. The holy water is good for the Fleeman, too. Because most of the time, the holy water's hitbox is pretty big, and most of the time, they won't. They won't dodge it, you know. All right. Let's. Ah, that's not a good start. Get hit already. That is one of the few spots in the game where the kind of got a bad draw on this one. Well, no, the the bat. Okay, a bat of focus. We're good. We're good. Um, that is like one of the only spots in the entire game that that clock comes in handy. I think it's the only. I think it's the only spot in the game where it's like really like. Um, not, I don't want to say required, because I just got through it, but uh, a lot of the times... Shit. Just fucking got a stray bat. Alright, I feel the hard way now. But, uh... Yeah, that definitely comes in handy on this spot. Because of this damn platform. See? Freeze him. Alright. That's my whip upgrade. Taking forever to get it to me. All right, let me see. Pause this for a second. Uh, I thought so. Those uh, dragon heads on the bridge thing, I could never get past. Uh, yeah, the dragon heads have like not so much a pattern, but you kind of get to where you can like. Um, we're gonna wait on this platform. I don't want to risk it again. <laughs> yes, I, I I do die in this sometimes. Usually, usually that's uh that's one of those parts that. Uh, that uh, w will get me uh, out of the. There's a few parts in here that always gives me trouble, and that's one of them. Is that is that spot with that damn bat on the platform? All right. I think there is there is another cross though on this. So we're gonna go ahead and. But I'm gonna go ahead and farm for uh, upgraded holy water just in case. But I, I think we do get a cross right before the boss, and we're gonna kind of grind it out to get the upgrades. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the, uh, the, so the crosses and the holy water also do really good against the, um, the dragon heads. So, uh, this one can, this part here, um, don't get too excited and jump around or anything. Just walk and stay calm. Don't jump at all. You're just going to jump into an enemy. Just kind of take your time with it. A lot of situations in this game that will trick you into thinking it's harder than it actually is. There we go. And we got our second upgrade already, but like I said, I don't think we're going to keep it. If there's a cross here, you're going to want the cross for this fight. This is one of the hardest fights in the game, so it's very important to get the right weapon. I believe there's a knife right here. Yep. Don't want that. The knife is the worst. Um... Well, it stuns them. It doesn't hurt them very well. Food here. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah. Yeah, I needed a break from a lot of stuff, so. Uh, from recording and anything like that, so. But it's, it's Castlevania time, man. Favorite time of the year. Okay. So, not too bad. Like, this is not the best situation to be in, but I think the holy water does 
Thief Holy Water does work pretty good. So this is the Frankenstein monster and the Flea Men combo. It's kind of tough, but I, like I said, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this does work. I've, I've had to do it before. It does stun lock them. Yeah, it works pretty good. Okay. This or the cross, really. Either way, you can use the cross. I usually use the cross, but this works good, as you can see. But uh, I usually use the cross because it, like... I'll, well, like I said, I'm trying to keep it till the end of the game. So I don't really have usually have much of a choice. Because it just comes in handy more often than the holy water, so you want to keep it. But uh, it also does good because it can hit him in the head. While also, um, while also fighting off the flea men, it keeps sort of a bunch of shit in the air so that the flea men can, uh, they'll get hit by it. Yeah, that's one of the harder ones. So this stage is the stage where immediately, I believe there's a, it's either right here or it's up one more, there's a holy water. And this is where you're going to drop the cross and get the holy water. This stage, if any of you have ever gotten this far, you know how hard this stage can be, but if you just keep the holy water, the big knights that are like the hardest enemies, they go down with like one holy water. So you really want to have the right weapon. Ah, oh, you fucker. Okay. Yeah, it is very good in this game. It's like, it, honestly, it, it's that and the holy water and cross are the only two. Like, you could probably easily like go through the whole game with just those weapons if you can keep a steady like it's 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 pretty funny how how like worthless the whip actually can be in these games <laughs> except rondo of blood which threw all the rules out the fucking window um well i think castlevania 4 did that first castlevania 4 made the whip broken it, like it wasn't even fun but uh rondo like made the sub weapons just suck so they were like, it, but it was more of like, I think they were trying to make the sub weapons more of like uh, weapons to to just go along with helping the whip instead of like. So it would be like it fend off like uh, projectiles, destroy projectiles, things like that. Um, it wasn't meant to be like super powerful, so it, it worked. But in Rondo, yeah, you want to use the blood most of the time, or the the blood, the whip most of the time. All right, here we go. If you walk these knights into your holy water, I forgot to jump. Usually you want to jump first thing at that part, throw it or your order won't reach. Uh, you want to learn how to time these out. Like, I get this guy to the close to the edge, and when he throws one of his axes, I kind of follow it back. And then jump and throw it. And, it, like I said, it takes care of them real easy. These guys are brutal if you don't do it this method, because I think they take, like... They take like eight to ten hits or something like that. The holy water is three, so I can throw three of them if I want to. Um, again, if you if you do a good like land a good placed one on those knights, you won't need it. You'll just need one. There's a part in Castlevania Symphony of Night where you go in and it's a boss fight where these three coffins open up and it's Trevor, Typha, and um, Alucard, or no, it's a, uh, and Grant, and that's what, look at these three coffins here. That's what I always like to imagine those are. Even though I think, I think that one takes, that one takes place like, uh, well no, I guess, yeah, because, because they could be, because that's the, like the earliest, one of the earliest in the timeline, so they could, they could have put it in there. Like, like they could be in there. I know they're not, because they didn't have that kind of foreshadowing, but, uh, I always like to pretend that's what's in there. All right, here we go. Run, jump, fill the holy water. There you go. Easy as pie. Okay. Take your time. It could be another night up here. Run, jump, fill the holy water. You can hit him too if you want to. Help it along a little. But you don't need to. All right. Getting close to the fun part. So, uh, the boss of this stage is Death, and he is also very, he's pretty notorious for being very difficult. But, uh, we're gonna fuck him up. I always, I love this one, but at this point, like, it goes so quick, though. Um, and then I have to end up playing two, which I don't hate, but it's like, 
two is a fucking chore, man. It just takes it takes too long, and it's just like there's not enough going on to uh, keep it that entertaining. I believe there's something over here. Yep, I get food. Good idea to pick that up. All right, this part here, run. Throw the holy water. This is what we're gonna use throughout this whole thing because if not, you're gonna get fucked up. If you keep walking and don't try to jump, except for when you throw that, then you can get past those Medusa heads and there'll be only two knights. If you sit there and fuck with those knights, I believe they respawn, so there'll be a ton of them. So you just wanna book it through there and uh, make sure you hit them with the holy water. And if you don't jump around too much, then you should be able to just walk right past the Medusa. So it's not a big deal. Okay, here's the death fight. Again, he will not trigger until you move the screen all the way over. So position yourself and get ready for what you're about to do. At this point, you should have your holy water all the way upgraded. So if I didn't have the holy water before all already upgraded, remember, you're going to want to, first thing when you pick up the holy water on this stage, you're going to want to uh, start using it on enemies and on candles so that you can, you can get that uh, upgrade to appear, right? It shouldn't take more than like... Like I said, it's like 20 tops. Either enemies or candles, doesn't matter. Um, you should have it fully upgraded by now. So make sure you got it fully upgraded or this won't work. Walk to the side of the screen. Walk back here and jump. Throw holy water. Just like this. Can't do shit. <laughs> Death is a pussy. Okay. Easy, easy peasy. Just gotta know the secrets. I think we got a one up. He is pretty cute looking. He doesn't look that scary. So, all right, last stage. This one's a little bit chaotic. This one I've never fully gotten down perfect. So I keep the holy water. Even though the axe is there and it's very helpful, but uh, the way we're going to want to do this part is there's going to be those bats that we fought at the very beginning, the boss of the big bat, not bats, but the, the big bat, is now going to show up. Multiples of them are going to show up. And uh, you don't want to fight them. Uh, we're going to kind of run past them. If we get a good draw, like basically I just, because sometimes they change a little bit, so I just call it a draw or whatever. But uh, if we get a good draw, the bats should fly down low enough that we can jump over them and not get hit. Um, if you hit them, I think it will stun them for a second, but you don't really want to do that unless you absolutely have to. So, and I don't think we got a great draw. No, we did. Jump there. Otherwise, he might come up too far. Yeah, not a good one. Sometimes they're assholes. All right, now we want to grab this. This stage usually I'll die a few times on, and it's not a big deal. We're so close to the end. Um, a lot of this stage is just trying to, you're just trying to get to the end because once you get, and you, oh, a clock, nice. That was a happy accident. Once you get to right before you fight Dracula, you will be able to respawn at that staircase just indefinitely. So you just want to kind of get there. As long as you can get there without dying, then, then you're good. At that point, you're, you're, you don't have to worry about anything. This is kind of a curious situation. Gotcha. Okay. So I don't really worry about taking hits a whole lot in this one. Um, one thing about Castlevania, though, is your damage progresses as you continue the game. Um, the damage enemies deal, I guess, rather. So you can see that skeleton. That's just a normal skeleton. But you can see he hit me. It'd be nice to get my fucking whip up, right? Um, he hit me one time. And uh, it dealt the quarter damage. That's one of the hardest parts about Castlevania with these ones on NES is they will. Um, they basically, and three is really hard because of this reason, because the damage scales based off of based off of whatever the uh, the boss deals. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Mo, damn it, what do you want from me? I'm not fucking perfect. Uh, <laughs> so you can get down here without getting hit. There's a pork chop. Fuck you, flea man. Um, but the damage scales basically based off of whatever, uh, based off of the damage that the boss does. And I think in this one, and in three, 
So in three, if the boss, the boss can kill you with four hits, then every, and on the NES version, not the Japanese Famicom version, but the NES version, then anything will deal that much damage to you. Like a little bat flying across screen will hit you and it'll do a quarter damage in that game, which is one of like, technically a bug, but that's one of the reasons why Castlevania 3 is so brutal, is because of that reason. So I'm gonna take a detour and kind of go for the fork shot just because. I usually am not very good at getting it, but on this part, you just wanna kind of run. This is what I do. Get to these bottom stairs as fast as you can. And on this part, I run. And on this platform, I drop straight down and go up those stairs you can see to the left down there because after those stairs, you're at the end of the stage. And I can take probably three more hits, so I just risk it. Because what I'm going to do when I get to those top stairs before Dracula is I'm just going to kill myself anyway so that I can farm for uh, the sub weapon. So, But sometimes you get bad draws. Sometimes you go up there and you'll drop down and those flea men and everything will just like let you pass perfectly. Like, they won't even touch you. So, it, it it just all depends. I usually just do it until I get lucky, because I don't really know. There's straight up no, like, I don't think there's any pattern on that, unless you're one of those, like, psycho, like, like speedrunners who knows how to, like, manipulate the game. Which, you know. Well, looks like I'm going to have to go for it. Okay, now I'm going to haul ass. Mmm, doesn't look good. Nope. Damn. Let's see, how many lives do I have? I got two left. Okay. I'll try something a little different this time. I'm gonna try to, like, move around a little bit. See if I can... See if I can make them do something else. Oh, finally got my up whip upgrade. That was nice. All right, here we go. We're going to haul ass. I'm not even going to fuck with the pork chop. Get down there. Here we go. All right, let me see if I can move them around. All right. Take it easy. Try not to get hit by those stupid things. All right, we're good. That's all you got to do. Just get up these stairs and you're, you're good. You don't have to fuck with this any longer. And because I want full health, I'm going to go ahead and drop down here. And you'll respawn on this spot every single time. So you can just, now I got full health. And this is the boring part. Is we're gonna, we're gonna farm for our weapon upgrade. So this part's kind of boring, but it's necessary. Because it makes this fight way easier. So. <laughs> Dude, oh, it's gonna get worse. If, if any, if... Whoever, whoever sticks with me for some of these other Castlevania games coming up, especially three, it's gonna be. I don't like. I get, I get upset at games that are pissed. Or like, like hard, they get me pissed. But like, um, there are a couple Castlevania games that like fucking about gave me a stroke. And uh, we'll get to those. So, since uh, John and Mo weren't here earlier, I'm gonna, I'm kind of explaining what I'm doing. So the upgrade, the two that I got now that I can throw two crosses on the screen, which I'm sure you know that at least since you've been, you've played this forever. Um, the, uh, I have the two upgrade. Now I'm going to get the three. The way you do that in the game is by using the sub weapon to either kill enemies, uh, to basically by killing enemies, right? The game registers you as using it basically like it's getting better. Like you're getting more skilled with it. That's the way I think of it. But the game doesn't know the difference between an enemy and a candle. So as long as you use your sub weapon on either the enemy or the candle, every eight to 12 things that you put out, candles or enemies, it will drop the upgrade. There we go, there's three. So you wanna kind of, whenever you get a sub weapon, if you use it as much as you can, you'll get those upgrades really quick. And that's like one of the keys to getting through this, like unscathed, so. And right now, I'm just gonna... Right now, we're just stocking up on hearts. I usually get, like... I usually get, like, 40 or 45 just to be safe. Because I'm pretty much gonna kill this whole... This boss with nothing but the crosses. It just makes it easier. Money bags. Don't need money bags. 
Monopoly over here. Yeah, how's everybody doing? What's your guys' flavor? How you feeling? Anybody following along? Forty, we'll go. Yeah, we'll do it once more. Might as well, just to be safe. Pineapple? Yeah, pineapple is a good flavor. Last life? Oh yeah, I'm on the last life. Yeah, this is my last life. But it doesn't matter. Like I said, once you're at this spot, you'll you'll respawn here every time. Pineapple's a good flavor. Okay, so one thing here. If we're doing this, I want to explain this. There's a candle here that gives you holy water. If you do not have the cross and you want to do this the way the game intended that you do this, you should have a lot of hearts at this point, and you'll want to pick up the holy water. Now and then you'll basically hit Dracula's head one like one just with your whip, like one at a time. He appears and you'll jump over and hit him, you know, and so forth until he turns into the blue guy. Right. And uh then you can use the holy water in that situation to stun lock him. When he jumps, you'll throw the holy water and it'll just it'll just stick him there and you can hit him with your whip. The problem with that is since you get the if you don't already have the holy water and you just pick it up here, you're not gonna have it upgraded, so you're only gonna have one at a time. So it's kind of tricky it works really well like it gives you holy water on this spot intentionally because it works with his second form quite good you know quite well but if you're not doing that you're gonna do what i do first thing you want to do is hit that candle on the far left and don't touch the holy water let it disappear otherwise you could probably accidentally pick it up and then you're gonna fuck yourself so what we're gonna do is go ahead and do that and before dracula even gets all the way up I'm going to start chucking these crosses because they'll kind of come back and you'll get him multiple times. You want to try not to take hits with the, you know, obviously don't want him to hit you. So be patient. But this is, makes it way easier. And we might still get killed. He's already hit me twice. Not a good sp place to be. You gotta kind of free throw him because you have no idea where the fuck he's gonna show up. And hopefully he's over there. Yep. Now you wanna just start spamming these things like crazy. And hope you don't get hit by his fire because, uh, like I said, it will deal a lot of damage to you at this point in the game. Usually your crosses, though, will kind of like put those fires out pretty well, you know. Good. There we go. We got him. Pretty easy. Just make sure you, uh, you know, distance yourself from him. Otherwise, he's going to stomp your ass every, you know, every time. And he will kill you in four hits. But if you have full health, he takes a quarter for every hit. So you want to be very, um, be very careful with that. Okay. There we go. There's the first one down. Yeah, easy. Easy. Once you know the little tricks and secrets. And here we get your uh, schlocky, goofy credits. Where you get all the fake movie star names and stuff. So on the, uh, the Japanese version of this game, which, like I said, I have right here. Right, throw it again. So, you can see that in that little screen right down the bottom. This is the Famicom disc version. On this version, you make a you can make a save file because you could save games on disc games. You could always you're always able to make a save file or whatever. Um, but you uh, love Cheney. See, that's that's hilarious. I mean, it's not hilarious. It's kind of fucking stupid, but I think it's hilarious. <laughs> um, but you can make a save file in there and you name your file, right? You put your name and. Uh, It'll say at the at, yeah, and the hero Simon Belmondo, which is a weird thing. I guess that was I can't remember the story behind that. And then it'll say right there, you played the greatest role, and it'll actually show your name on the end. Like it'll actually put your name up there. So it's pretty cool. And then the game gets harder. So if you play it through it a second time, kind of like recently, if anybody watched my video of uh, me playing Contra over and over and over and over. It gets harder with every uh, every time you every time you beat it. It gets harder, and uh, it'll add new enemies. You'll take more damage, just, just shit like that. 
Um, but yeah, see, we already got flying bats, which were not there um, the first time. So, yeah, pretty interesting. But we're going to move on to the second game. Anyway, that's the first one. I hope I gave you guys enough. I know I moved kind of fast, but um, I hope I gave enough, like, a good enough explanation for you guys to be able to uh, try some of that, and hopefully you guys will be able to beat it, beat it yourself. Um, oh, the zombies are fast. Yeah, everything just kind of is, is more difficult. But I hope you guys will be able to, like, uh, maybe this will help you guys beat it if you haven't ever beat it before. Uh, maybe I get, I hope I gave some good tips. So, uh, let's take a quick break. I'm going to go use the bathroom. I'm going to get the second game in and we're going to go ahead and start on that one. So let's, um, we're going to go to a commercial break. <laughs> 